Intermittent fasting is one of the hottest topics. One of the questions that keeps coming up is, can I do fasting for weight loss and would it work? And what is the data, not some expert's opinion on it? So let's talk about fasting today and does it work for weight loss? And we're gonna focus on a specific type of fasting called time-restricted feeding or time-restricted eating is another way of saying it. And essentially what TRF or time-restricted feeding is, is is that there's a window of eating, usually between six to 10 hours, that's what the data shows is effective, and therefore the rest of the time is fasting. So when you talk about fasting, you're looking at anywhere between 14 hours to 18 hours of fasting. So does time-restricted feeding work? But before we get started, let's talk about a very simple topic, which is what do you need to have an effective weight loss intervention. So remember, when you talk about the holy grail of weight loss, you really need three things in there. One, it has to be effective, right? So you have to have data that supports it works, not somebody's opinion around it, but you know that it's been tested on a variety of people. And of course, with effective, it has to be safe. Number two is accessible. Is it readily available? Is it some really costly program that nobody can afford to do? And the third one is straightforward. In other words, it's simple to do, so simple that you don't have to think about it every day. Before we go on, just a quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is our channel for selfprincipal.org. We really appreciate your support. Now, with time-restricted feeding, what do the animal studies show? Well, it's fascinating, right? The studies show repeatedly that there's weight loss, their lipids or cholesterol levels get better, blood pressure gets better, and there's even a reduction in inflammatory markers or inflammation in the body. And even in human trials, some of those studies have shown that. So there was this new trial that came out and it really piqued my interest because it is a randomized clinical trial. So as you know, when it comes to nutrition, a lot of nutrition studies are population-based. So when there's a randomized study, we wanna look at it. Generally, a quality randomized study does need a control arm. Basically, what that means is an arm where you didn't do anything. So therefore, you can see what would have happened if you did nothing to that group. In this particular study, it was 12 weeks, so not a long time, pretty short, about four months or so, going on three to four months, depending on how you're looking at it. And really looking at adults, so 18 to 64, so it doesn't apply to kids, and BMIs were really overweight or obese. Now they had two arms. The first arm was about consistent meal timing. So what they did was they had told these people the only instruction they said was, we need you to eat consistently three meals a day at this time. They didn't say what type of meals, they didn't say to exercise, yoga, meditation, none of that stuff. No issues on sleep, nothing else going on, just the consistent meal timing. And then the other arm, which they call time-restricted eating, which is the same word as time-restricted feeding or TRF, they basically told them to eat from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now the problem with that window right there is, is if you think about your circadian rhythm and if you watch some of the previous videos, you'll see the best time to eat follows your circadian rhythm. So in other words, when the sun is up, that's a good time to eat. So it's better to do your time-restricted eating during the daytime than it is in the evening. Specifically has to do with the fact that growth hormone secretion occurs in the evening. It inhibits the secretion of insulin. Now, what did they find in this particular study? So the two groups, remember it's only 12 weeks, so about three months, a little bit more than that or so. What they found was that the group that was doing the fasting only lost about two pounds. And it was significant in the sense that Looking at their baseline, two pounds was considered to be a statistically significant result. With the meal timing, where they had to eat three meals, they lost about a pound and a half. When you compare the two groups, there really wasn't a difference. One and a half pounds compared to two pounds, not a big difference. And nothing like some of the other studies that have shown much larger increases in weight loss. What else did they find? Well, they saw that between the two groups, there really wasn't a difference. Also, for some reason, the time-restricted eating group had a decrease or a loss of lean mass. Now remember, they didn't give any instructions on the quality of food, 
on the exercise. So were they exercising? Were they not? Because they did a change in how they eat, were they too tired to exercise? Don't know. And they showed that there was no difference in cholesterol levels. No difference in lipids, no difference in LDL, HDL, insulin, so forth. But before we jump on the bandwagon and say, wow, this study shows that intermittent fasting doesn't work, the study has a lot of issues with it. First, there's no nutrition info given. So in other words, could they just be eating burger and fries and pizza all day? It could be, don't know, because we didn't look for it. What about exercise? Does exercise matter? Absolutely. It helps in any kind of weight loss plan because it helps in terms of maintaining your metabolism. And lastly, there's no control group to really know what would have happened to those people had nothing been said. At the end of the day, the data that we have so far, what it shows is intermittent fasting is not a diet. Intermittent fasting is a lifestyle plan that you can use with your eating plan. So in other words, if you follow a whole foods plant-based diet and you combine that with fasting, you will get tremendous benefits all over the body with inflammation, with lipids, and with weight. Intermittent fasting by itself, without watching what you eat, without exercising, without getting enough sleep, without working on social connection, gratitude, and stress, will not matter. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, so we can create more. See you soon.